Yeah, there's a tweet. Warcraft made a tweet. The tweet says this. A message from the Warcraft team. It was clear from our team conversations that we wanted to put forth a statement that was representative of the World of Warcraft team sentiments. We asked all members of our team to send us their suggestions and feedback on how to best address the community, and this is the result. These past days have been a time of reflection for the World of Warcraft team spent in conversation and contemplation, full of sadness, pain, and anger, but also hope and resolve. As we heed the brave women who have come forward to share their experiences, we stand committed to taking the necessary actions to ensure that we are providing an inclusive, welcoming, and safe environment for both our team and also our players in Azeroth. Those of us in leadership understand that it is not our place to judge when we have achieved our goals, but rather for our team and community to let us know whenever we still have more to do. We turn to our team for guidance from our internal work to protect marginalized groups and hold accountable those who threaten them. We also want to take immediate action in Azeroth to remove references that are not appropriate for our world. This work has been underway, and you will be seeing several such changes in both Shadowlands and WoW Classic in the coming days. We know that in order to rebuild trust, we must earn it with the actions and weeks of months to come. But to go forward, knowing what we share the same vision and community of curating a place where people of all genders, ethnicities, sexual orientations, and backgrounds can thrive and proudly call home. Yeah. So they're going to remove the Alex Afrasabi NPC. That's really cool. That, that's, su that's super cool that you guys did that. But here's the reality. You knew that he was molesting people and touching them inappropriately. Because that's one of the reasons why he left the company. So what you're saying is that you had the NPC of this person, which by the way, I do not think is a big deal. Like this is a product of its time. I think they should change it. But the idea that this matters really in any sort of a way other than just a motion, like, oh yes, we are doing this thing to signify something. This is a virtue signal. This is something that is like, well, we could provide employees with better, uh, better work conditions. We could provide a better game. No, we're not going to do that. We want to put out a, a statement and pat ourselves on the back for changing the name of an NPC. I'm sorry, but I'm not impressed. I'm really not. This is not even half of what the problem was with the company. This is not even the entire reason why you're getting sued by California. It's also because you're providing terrible work conditions for all kinds of people in the company. And to pigeonhole that into just treating minorities and women badly, is it's disingenuous. Because it's an easier problem to solve and it doesn't cost you money. It does not cost you money to treat people fairly, but it does cost you money to actually give these people the opportunity to have a job that they can rely on, and that's somehow the thing that gets omitted from the fucking message. We don't care. I don't care. I can't say we. I don't care. I want the game to be good, and I want the people that are in the company to, to, to fucking not be in the company if they knew about this. Like, if they were okay with it, if they were doing it. Like, it's not complicated. You don't need to put out a message. There is a clear solution. Make the game better and get rid of the sexual abusers. Holy fuck, how hard is it? It's performative allyship. Yes, this is... They're, they're using this as a fucking shield for their bad business practice and bad work environment. I understand that you're trying to do a good thing. I, I get that you are trying to do a good thing. But... You're trying to make a good system with 9.1 fucking assaults, too. And you failed, just like you failed with this, too. This is virtue signaling. Wow, congratulations. You're removing an NPC. Why don't you remove the people? You had the NPC in the game for at least a year. Whenever you knew he left, you knew he did this bad stuff. And you kept it in the game. You only care now because people are talking about it. They deleted Swifty's character faster than this. And they only knew about that for one day. Isn't this admittance of guilt? Heeding brave women who come forward? Nah, bro, they're just like, and this is again, it's a four messages with different, like we heed the brave women who have come forward to share their experiences and commit to taking the action necessary to ensure we're providing an inclusive, welcoming and safe environment for both our team and the players in Azeroth. Yeah, nobody doesn't want a safe team. And if you care so much about this, why is it that people keep coming up with fucking problems of other people sending them death threats and harassing them on multiple characters and Blizzard can't seem to do anything about this? It's because they don't care. Yeah, they only care when it's cheap. 
They only care about this stuff whenever it's fucking cheap. And I think that's what's so frustrating to me about it, is to see these legitimate real issues co-opted by a soulless corporation and an incompetent, de incompetent development team and then used as a shield to protect themselves from the legitimate fucking harm that they're dealing. Just stop talking about it. Just do it. You know, like, this is the same thing with, like, the Chromie thing. Nobody cared if Chromie is, like, they, it's a, a male dragon, but a female character. Nobody cares about this, right? But you go and you make post after post, patting yourself on the back that you've created a character that ticks a diversity box. Like, this is a big fucking deal. Yes, please, by all means, go ahead and do that. But if you want to do that and then try to pat yourself on the back, this is this self-aggrandizing vir virtue signaling that people are fucking tired of with Blizzard. Like, J. Allen Bratt goes on, and he has the audacity. How, how do they? Let me ask you something. How do they treat the LGBT people over in China? How do they treat them over in China? Not too good. But somehow he has the audacity to go and talk about how we messed up without even naming the person Blitzchung, without even naming the place Hong Kong, without even naming any of it, while he's wearing an LGBT flag to deflect from criticism that he would have gotten if somebody wore that over in China, I wonder what the fuck would happen. Uh, it's, it's just so pathetic, man. I, I, I'm so tired of this trash. This performative activism. You, using legitimate issues as a shield for your bad work environment. No wonder the game sucks. These people don't, they can't even, they, they can't even deal with their own company. Let alone make a game. Yeah, you should take a break on the game because you'll just keep making it worse. What they should do is just get a random group of high schoolers and I'm pretty sure they can make a better fucking game than what Shadowlands is right now. Besides the raids, the raids are fucking amazing. Everything else is garbage. Corthia sucks. The quests suck. They can't treat each other with respect or we really expect them to treat their game with respect. Get the fuck off, yeah, get the fuck off of Twitter. Get the fuck, you already made three statements as a company. Well, how many more do you need to pat yourselves on the back for doing the right thing? Just do the work. They fired all the good people? Well, half the good people got accused of sexual harassment. Let's be fair. But I'm sure they did lose some of the good people, too. They're also trending on Twitter. Trending up on Twitter and down in the stock market. I mean, I should comment on it. Uh, this is great, but what about all of the testimonials of the people working in awful uh, conditions? Okay. It's just like, it, it, it's so, uh, it, it, it's so pathetic, man. Using these fucking people as a diversion to terrible work conditions. It's like, I would say the sexual harassment and stuff like that, like, that's a big part of it. And I would even say it's most of it. But that still means that it could be 40% of the other problem. And if you go back and you read all of these testimonials of people that work as GMs, people that work as sometimes developers or engineers, these people are being treated badly in a lot of different ways, not just by, you know, like some bullshit. Let me go ahead and read some of these comments, all right? We'll see what people have to say. I want to believe. I hope this start a positive change for Blizzard going forward. So this guy and all his items dedicated to him are gone. I mean, that's kind of what I would expect. Yeah. Oh, God. So when I report homophobia and sexism within game chat, you GMs are going to take action. Like, the problem is, like, the reason why GMs don't take action... Listen, Jane, I'm going to explain something. The reason why they don't take action is not because they don't care. It's because they're understaffed and fucking stressed out that they're not going to meet their analytical metrics for tickets tickets served per day that was created by somebody who's probably never done the job that they're making the analytics for. It's not because Blizzard doesn't care. It's because Blizzard has engineered a system that creates the illusion that they do not care. They've set themselves up to lose because they wanted to save money. More word salad with no clear statement on how you're actually going to do without actually admitting your wrongs. Claps for corporate speak. How about removing the harassing employees? What about the domination sets? Clearly not the fucking time for that. I mean, but it is though in a way, right? It's like, again, nobody should have to feel like they have to give a shit about what Blizzard's internal problems are. These are people paying for a product. Like, if you go and you pay for a hamburger at Five Guys, you know, you bring $200 so you can afford one. You buy the hamburger at Five Guys, and then the cook gets a headache halfway through the fucking hamburger, and you only get a hot dog, or you don't get a hamburger at all, 
and then you complain about it, you're not an asshole because you you want your fucking hamburger. That's what you paid for. Yeah, I think it's insensitive, absolutely. I do think it's the wrong time. But I'm not gonna call somebody out for that because I can understand where they're coming from. Last time I got an apology like this, it was about Blitzchung and it turned out to be empty words. Don't let these words be empty this time. Well, thank God. I'm sure that you're, I'm sure that's really going to change everything. Using real problems as a shield is literally corporate meta. Well, that's what they try to do, right? Is they try to latch themselves onto like a little fucking parasite onto a real legitimate social issue that people have a genuine concern about. And then they, they fucking, as I said, like a little fucking parasite, they latch themselves onto it. And then any criticism of them is by extension criticism of the social issue that they are using as a shield, which then makes the people that are criticizing them against the social issue. This is what they're trying to do. A lot of companies do this. That's why they have like the gay flag for uh, gay pride month. They have that in all the countries except for the ones they could lose money for doing it in. You don't see that on, uh, you know, like Walmart, Saudi Arabia. It's performative activism. They're co-opting real and legitimate issues to sell products. They're co-opting real and legitimate problems to make money. They are perverting them. And they're taking advantage of the people who have genuine care, who actual care about unironic social justice. How could they do it in countries where it's literally illegal, though? Where did where, where is it said? Where is it said that they um? Where is it said that they care what they have to sell it in that country? Where, where is it stated that Blizzard has to provide a product in that country? Where do they have to do that? They choose to do that for the obvious reason because it makes them more money. Because money is more important to them than equality. Money is more important to, to them than fair treatment. Money is what matters. It's virtue signaling. It's virtue shielding, which is, I think, even worse. Because not only are they co-opting a social issue, but they're co-opting a social issue to protect themselves from abusing people. It's worse.